Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian channel, um, Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could go to my main channel, Tarot of Light. Um, the link is in the description box below. Um, I also have a Virgo only channel and a Leo only channel. So if you have those signs in your chart or you cross watch for them, you can check them out there below. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals. Um, so just put that in the, you know, hashtag that in the comment section. Winners are announced on the first of the month on uh, the community page, okay? Uh, be sure to check out Juju from Lunar Logic Tarot, amazing reader. She does insane personal readings. The link for her channel is below. Readings can be vice versa, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Be sure to take a deep breath before the reading starts. Release the ego so that if there's any messages that, you know, it's always easy to blame the other person, Cancer, okay? And sometimes it legit is, you know, the other person that might be doing wrong. But be sure to make sure that, you know, there's no messages for you in there, uh, of something that you may be doing wrong okay all right so let's see here spirit tell me about cancer please sun sun moon rising and venus tell me about cancer please sun moon rising venus tell me about cancer in love what does cancer need to know today please okay so we've got the ace of cups and we've got the two of swords Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. We've got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Oh gosh, Cancer. Tell me about... Tell me about Cancer, please. We have the World card. And we've got the Three of Cups. We have the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so Cancer, this is very interesting. We're dealing with someone here um, that has a very powerful energy to them, okay? This is somebody... Uh, this is definitely this could be someone new it could be someone from the past coming in wanting a new beginning guys i'm sorry about the hoodie i know it's the middle of august but i keep my house super cold and i'm freezing um so anyways i felt the need to <laughs> i felt the need to share i don't know but anyway so cancer um could be your side could be your person's side i i feel like someone here with this ace of cups energy this could be someone new it could be someone from your past returning but with that nine of wands in the reverse and that emperor energy this is someone that's not taking no for an answer like you know the emperor conquers they're strong they're dominant um you know you can't win when a comper uh, when a conqueror good lord Jesus. <laughs> when a when an emperor comes in the emperor conquers you understand you can't win there's not another card in the tarot deck that could ever go up against an emperor and win an empress might give the emperor a run for his money but i don't even think an empress could beat an emperor i mean this is like top dog status right okay um i feel like there is resistance here with the two of swords so this is somebody that wants to come in no is not acceptable here, okay? Could be someone new, could be someone from the past that wants to reconcile. They're not taking no for an answer, point blank, period, okay? We have the world card and the three of cups, the four of wands and the queen of wands. So I'm getting a couple of things from this, okay? This could either be something that's going that like this person may be out to like straight up change your life, Cancer, and want to make this connection public and announce to everyone that you belong to them. Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. This is someone that might be looking, this person could be older than you. I gotta say for some of you, Cancer, this is not gonna resonate with everybody. For some of you, this is someone that's looking for a trophy wife or a trophy husband. Okay, because the Queen of Wands is very sexy. 
Some of you may have a tattoo on your arm of a cross because I'm seeing this queen of wands. You see that cross on her arm. So some of you may, uh, you know, someone here may have a tattoo on their arm of a cross. Okay. So this could be an energy of someone here that wants long-term stability or wants to move in with somebody. When I see the three of cups and the four of wands, this is announcing we're together, announcing an engagement, announcing a marriage. Okay. I feel like somebody here finds someone very attractive. They find someone very charismatic, very funny, like a go-getter, very independent, very, you know what I'm saying? Like this person's just on fire. Okay. They're on fire. And I feel like, I feel like, so that could be one story here. Another story could be that this person, you know, as Emperor Energy is coming in, they're in a commitment, okay? And they're claiming that they're going to end that commitment to be with you, okay? Or Cancer, you could be doing that to somebody. I don't know, all right? So let's see. Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Cups for Cancer. Tell me about this Ace of Cups for Cancer. We have the Seven of Swords. Cancer, you may have someone approaching you that is already in a commitment. When this person approaches you, or Cancer, when you approach this person, someone here is already committed and this relationship is starting based on lies or starting in an energy of cheating. Under the deck, we've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, King of Wands to the Queen of Wands, though. Oh, shit. And the Two of Cups. Well, Cancer, this is a true pair and a very strong soul tie connection here. So let's see what we have going on. Tell me about this Two of Swords, please, for Cancer. Two of Swords for Cancer. You know, Cancer, I do want to throw something out there, though. And this is real talk. Okay, this is this is real talk. Nowadays, nobody is truly single single. Does that make sense? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm single single right now. I'm not talking to nobody. I'm not dating nobody. But that's actually not normal in today's world. Like, most people, like, even if they're not in a committed relationship and they claim to be single, they're dating 10 people, sleeping with four people, talking to five people. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's really single, single anymore, you know? Um, but I do feel like this particular person, I'm not going to lie, is actually committed, okay? Is actually committed. Um, Two of Swords and the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like somebody is saying, nope, we could just be friends. That's it. Someone is also saying no to a friends with benefits situation. Like somebody here could be being, uh, um, I'm not feeling this too strongly, but it is a possibility. Someone here could be offering like, hey, you know, like kind of indicating, do you want to be like a side piece type of thing? And the answer to that is no. Or somebody here may start flirting or whatever. And with that two of swords, they're being shut down. Because, you know, maybe this Queen of Wands knows that this person's committed. I don't know. Tell me about the Emperor energy, please. And we've got the Death card, Scorpionic energy. Tell me about this Emperor and this Death card, please. And we have the Nine of Swords. This emperor is stressed the hell out. Let me tell you something. This emperor energy is really fuck. Excuse my language. I've been cursing a lot lately. I don't know why. But this emperor energy is really losing it, Cancer. Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands in the reverse with the Lover's card. This is someone that is going crazy over a third party energy. Gem Gemini energy, by the way. This is someone that has become completely infatuated with a third party energy. And the fact that they're being told no is making them lose it. They're stressed out because with that death card, they're really considering ending a situation to move towards something new. Because they know that this Queen of Wands energy is not going to be a third party or a side piece. This is not someone that's going to quietly sit on the side. Tell me about the world card, please. And the Four of Swords. Ace of Wands and the Three of Cups. Tell me about this World card and this Four of Swords. 
Two of Pentacles and the Judgment card. Okay, so this Emperor is not going to make a quick decision, Cancer. This Emperor is going to chill for a minute with that Four of Swords energy and this Two of Pentacles energy. They're going to take a minute to breathe and say, what decisions should I make with that Judgment card? Sagittarian energy, Hanged Man under the deck also, Piscean energy. What They're going to take a minute, okay? So I feel like they're going to make a move, Cancer. They're going to be told no. They're going to be told no because this emperor's committed. So whoever they're going towards knows this person. This queen of wands knows this emperor well enough to know that this person's married, in a relationship, has a family, so on and so forth. Okay? So this, could, this is not a total stranger. These two know each other well enough to know that, you know, that emperor's committed, basically. Okay? So they're, this emperor's being told no. So I feel like they're going to flirt. They're going to kind of drop hints and stuff like that. They're being told no. So this emperor is now understanding if I want to be with the queen of wands, I have to really be with the queen of wands. And they're getting very tempted. You know, the fact that they're being told no, like they don't want to be told no. They want this. They want that. They want that queen of wands. Do you understand what I'm saying? Five of wands, the lover's card, um, a lot of sexual frustration, uh, conflicting thoughts. What do I do? You know, nine of wands in the reverse. Uh, you know, I don't want to be told no. I, I want to, you know, I want this. You know, I don't want to be denied this. So they're taking a breather, Cancer. They're taking a breather because this would be, you know, if they leave their current relationship, this would be life-changing for this person. And I don't feel like you're telling this person. Now, Cancer, I don't know where you, I don't know if this is flipped, vice versa, you take it as it resonates. But I, I gotta be honest, I don't think you're telling this person, well, you know, if you leave your person, I'll be with you. No, you're just saying, no, you're married. No, you're committed. I'm not, I don't do that, you know? Uh, and this person kind of took that as an invitation of saying, oh, okay, well, if I leave my person, then we could be together. And I don't think you ever really said that. Do you see what I'm saying? But they are going to take the time to, so this person may go quiet on you for a minute. They may go from a flirtatious, pushy type of energy to pulling their energy back. And that's because they're thinking about what they really want to do. Like, okay, let me breathe here. Let me take a minute. Let me really think about this. And then with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands, I feel like they're going to, I feel like they're going to pursue what they want. Tell me about the Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person's going to come in like a damn wrecking ball. Okay, Seven of Cups. They're going to almost appear crazy. That this person just can't take it. They're going to explode. You know what I'm saying? Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Like that, that's a very fast moving energy. This is someone with a, you know, a fast car maybe, or, you know, someone that gets in their car and drives away very fast. That Six of Swords energy talks about leaving something usually toxic behind and moving towards more peaceful waters, but it could represent travel. It could represent movement, right? So this is just this person saying, yep, I've decided. I don't want to be here anymore. I got to go. Bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're like, bye. <laughs> got to go. Can't stay here. Got to go now. You know, and they're just getting in a car and leaving. Seven of Cups, it's it's going to be like, whoa. You know, I feel like this Emperor's person is going to be like, what the hell just happened? You know, Three of Cups and the Ace of Wands, they're just going to get up and say, nope, can't do it. Got to go. I, I want this third party. I want to go. Full card, starting over again. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, making a decision. What do I want for the future? You know, this person's really contemplating. Tell me about this King and Queen of Wands, please. We've got Temperance and the Queen of Pentacles, Sagittarian energy. So I, I feel Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel... And we've got the Eight of Cups under the deck. Yeah, this person has been holding back because they have a Queen of Pentacles already. Queen of Pentacles to the Emperor, okay? So these two are a good pair, but they're not necessarily a match, okay? Not a bad pair, but not necessarily a match. With Temperance here, I feel like everything is very routine between these two. I don't see a lot of passion. I don't see a lot of love. I just feel like a Groundhog Day type of energy where everything is the same. Maybe they stay together for responsibilities. Maybe they own businesses together. They pay the bills. Like the only time they communicate is with each other is when the car payments do. It's very bad. You know, it's very like blah type energy, you know. But I feel like this person is holding back because they have to worry about what to do with this Queen of Pentacles 
and what they're going to do with that eight of cups is leave that's what's happening here okay knight of wands and the nine of cups with the five of cups and the moon they do feel bad they do feel bad this emperor does feel bad but it's not going to show i'm telling you right now because they're pursuing their wish fulfillment relentlessly nine of cups eight of cups like it's you know they do kind of feel bad for leaving the queen of pentacles but i, I trust and believe it's not going to show because they're moving towards twin flame twin soul strong soul tie they're moving towards a person that they feel like they're meant to be with Okay, tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Queen of Cups, Leo, excuse me, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Three of Wands. You may possibly live at a distance from this person, Cancer, or maybe, maybe you were expecting this in a way. The Eight of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this is an ending. This is someone leave that walked away. So Cancer, here you are. Hold on one second. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card in the reverse. Leo energy. There's no excuse. And, whoa, look at this. The King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Oh, shit. Cancer, this person's coming towards you now saying, yep, I walked away, I ended it, filed for a divorce, whatever. Now there's no excuses. Strength card in the reverse. You can't tell me no. Eight of Pentacles, let's work on this. Let's do this thing. What am I moving in? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, what? Yeah, like, I mean, three of wands. Tell me about the three of wands for Cancer. The eight of swords. Cancer, you had a feeling this was going to happen. You had a feeling that this was going to happen. Cancer, your intuition is very strong. All Cancer's intuitions are very strong. And you had this overwhelming feeling that this person with the chariot was going to come back and, and chase you. You had a feeling that this wasn't over, okay? Because with the Sun, Leo energy and the Ten of Cups, I feel like you knew, you felt the strong soul tie between you and this person also. You didn't pursue it maybe because, you know, this person was somewhere else at that time, belonged to somewhere else or whatever, but Cancer, you felt it too. So whatever this spark was, you felt it too. You made the right decision and you said no, but you had a feeling that this person was going to come back around. Tell me about this Eight of Cups, please. Tell me about this Eight of Cups, please. Ten of Pentacles. This person has walked away to go towards their Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Uh, King of Swords under the deck, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, the Ten of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. This is somebody, and, and the Ace of Swords, this is someone that's honestly saying, I am not, I have ended something, and I am not in any way, shape, or form going to go back to it, period. Six of Wands, the Strength card in the reverse. I win now. You can't say no. There's no excuses. Point blank, period. That's it. That's what this person's saying. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles and the Tower. <sighs> Cancer, this person may come to you with nothing. This person may not have a place to live. This person may not have a dollar to their name because with the tower, this person's starting over from scratch. Aries, Scorpionic energy. This person may need to find work, maybe. I mean, they're coming towards you with nothing because they've left everything behind. Two of Wands and the Fool card. They just decided to go for it, Cancer. They just decided to go for it, and I feel like they just left everything behind. Damn, Cancer. All right, let's see here. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We've got Temperance, Sagittarian Energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Tell me about Cancer, please. Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Very interesting. The bottom line here is cancer is that one thing is working and one thing isn't. I mean, that's that's the, the fact of the matter. Three of Swords, one thing is, is ending and it's painful. But Three of Pentacles, another thing is working, you know. And with Temperance and the Hierophant, um, I 
I feel like that temperance card. See, yeah, see, the hermit is under the deck. I feel like this person, Virgo energy, is going to pull away from you. They're going to pull away from you to think, but I do feel. Tell me about this hierophant because they're married. Because they're married. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this person may not come towards you, Cancer, because they are, you know, they are married. They are in a relationship somewhere else. They are in a relationship somewhere else. So they may pull away. They may pull away. But I feel like they're going to come back around. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles, please. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're going to come back to apologize for doing that to want to work things out with you. Three of Swords and the Empress. There's the Emperor to the Empress. Yeah, Cancer, this is uh, this is crazy. But when they come back towards you to work things out, are they still, are they, oh, are they coming back to, okay, that's what they're doing, Cancer. They may be coming back around to apologize to you because when they had made that initial move on you, they were with this Empress. But I feel like they're going to come back around after they've left everything behind or they want to come back around to talk to you and tell you that they're going to leave everything behind, but they'll have nothing if they leave. So is this a conversation? Have they already left? I mean, look, we're going to go a little bit deeper in the extended. So let's see what's find it, what's going to happen here between the emperor and the empress. And then let's see what's happening here. We've got the king and queen of cups and, the, and we've got the king and queen of um, the king and queen of wands here. Okay, so let's see, you know, these two are obviously might be married, may have children, may have businesses together, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's take it into the extended and dig a little bit deeper and see what the outcome is going to be here. Should you trust this? Are you going to end up just being like, is this person just going to come towards you, you know, get it in, get their rocks off and then leave? What is this person trying to do? What is their true intentions here? Okay. All right, guys, the link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you all so very much and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my loves.